We wanted to, down here at Seattle Coffee Gear, give you an update on how to descale a single boiler machine. And we happen to have the Sylvia here, but this would apply to any single boiler machine. This is the process that you would take as long as it will dispense hot water. So you fill up your water tank to about three quarters or, you know, three quarters to full. And Descal is the product, one of the products that we recommend. There's others on our webpage as well. It comes in a liquid form. This is, happens to be powder and it's one of these packets per water tank. Get it in there, and this is a citric acid based product, so it can't hurt you. And I recommend using um, warm water. You wanna get it dissolved in here. You know, it's just granules, so it's like sugar. It's gotta dissolve. Mm-hmm. I think we got it. The other thing you want to do when you're doing this is, like it, I got that on there, you want to rinse that kind of stuff off because sometimes I think it'll kind of etch the stainless if it's, if it's not diluted a lot. So what you want to do then is what we're looking to do is this is going to run through anything where the water goes. And what it does is, the reason you want to do this is, if you have any calcium or lime, any kind of mineral, iron, any kind of buildup in your system, it's gonna impede the use of it and it's gonna diminish the length that this machine is gonna work properly. It's like the arteries in your heart, they get all clogged up, same thing. <laughs> anyway, so you wanna um, make sure you do this about once every three months if you have nice soft water. And we do recommend using filtered water in any machine. And if you don't uh, have a filter and using hard water, do this about once a month. So get a, any kind of a pitcher, have this under here as well. And you really don't have to have the portafilter in place for this. Put this under here. And on your machine, make it make hot water that comes out of the steam arm. In this case, it's this button right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run about a quarter of the tank down. That's not quite a quarter of a tank, but just for the sake of not dragging this out, that's what, that, this is just the process that you do. Run a little bit out of your brew, uh, brew head as well. So now you've got that solution working in the whole machine in all of the water works, the boiler, all the uh, steam arm, all the hosing and everything that's inside. Now shut the machine off because you don't want it to be heating while this process is going. Leave it for about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, and let that process, you know, the, the citric acid work inside the machine. If you just run it all through and don't let it hesitate like this, it's not gonna do any good, it's not gonna work. So do that for all four portions of your water tank. Do another quarter now, um, turn it off, let it sit for 20 minutes, do the next one the same way, same way. Then take this water tank out, your water tank, Freshen it up with some fresh water, rinse it all out really good, get the citric acid solution out of there, and then run about two uh, water tanks of fresh water through the same way. And this is the way that I test to see if I've gotten all that acid out of there, the citric acid. As it's brewing like this, as it's making water, as you get toward the end, just taste it. If it's if it tastes like lemonade, you haven't got it all out yet, keep rinsing. It's just like getting the shampoo out of your hair in the morning, right? So that's basically how you descale a machine, and it is important to do. We've seen machines that haven't been done, and they die maybe in a year's time, especially if you're using hard water. It's really important. So if you have any questions, check out uh, the link uh, to the machine itself, about the machine, and watch this video for the descaling. And we have other cleaning videos as well that you can refer to. And to see those videos, sign up for our uh, subscription to our YouTube videos. We're always coming up with something. It could be entertaining. It could be informative. It's all related to the coffee products. Check us out on seattlecoffeegear.com and sign up for our YouTube videos. Thanks.